Hello and welcome to the Gardens and Graveyards channel. My name is Charisma and today we're hanging out in the studio and I was sort of reminiscing of what the garden has transformed or all the transformations that the garden has experienced in the last five years since we moved here. And you know, when you look back and think of all the projects that you've done and the major um, landscaping changes that you have have done and created in your gardens. It is just so amazing to look back on that sometimes. Um, you know, looking into the future, we have so many projects that we're looking forward to and that we're budgeting and that we're scheduling out, like when can we get these done? How long are they going to take? What are all the pieces and components that we need to put together in order to make them happen? And it gets a little overwhelming sometimes, and sometimes it's just like, I don't know, is it really worth it? And then you look at how far you've come and how different your garden looks, and it's like, yes, every one of those projects have been worth it. They have completely transformed this property into something so be be so beautiful and so magical, and it makes living here just feel like a dream every day. And I mean, buying this property was a dream. It fell into our laps. It was just an absolute miracle how it all happened. And so as we continue to develop the property, um, it's just super fun to look back on what it looked like before and um, imagining how it's going to look even at the end of this year if we get all of our projects done or even if we get only a, a couple of those projects done. So I thought I would share some highlight projects with you in this video so you can see some before and afters because we did not start this channel um, in the beginning of this garden's journey. So I hope you enjoy it and um, get some inspiration for making your own garden um, yours personally and just making it sacred and beautiful and let it represent you and honor your property at, at the same time. So let's take a look at these photos and then I will leave it at that. I hope you enjoy it and we will see you in the next video. Until then, keep celebrating your life. So here was our house in 2018 when we purchased it. And this was maybe a year later or so, maybe less. This was from this past fall. This was our rose garden after we cut down some straggly tree. This was from this summer. And this was from this winter. Here is our backyard just after we moved in. And here it is starting the fence. This is the medicine garden. Can you even believe it? This was after Spencer built our terraces. And maybe a year later. And now in year three, the plants are huge. This was our butterfly garden. And there she is all in her pretty structure <laughs> with a few new plants in it and all grown in. This was the hellebore garden. After we cleaned her up and added some plants and then we put in this arbor. And there is the garden, the way it looks today, or at least how it looked this summer. Here is the iris bed in all her glory. This is the hosta garden. 
after we added the Gunnera and Rock. Here's the Gunnera this year. And then this fall, check out the size of those leaves. This is the pond when Spencer built it. And now all filled in. Here I am laying the patio for the moon garden. After it was laid, and this summer, as the bench was placed and flowers blooming, this is the pallet walkway. That has been such a tremendous help. I didn't have any before photos that I could find. Then we built the raised beds, which was a lot of fun, and took some time at nurseries as well. These were our first poppies that we got to bloom. We were really excited about that. It took us several years to finally get some. And again, dreaming in lavender fields. It's the fuel to our fire when we are gardeners. Enjoying the bounty of summer. This is our home on the Oregon coast. Here's the mermaid garden at the beginning of this summer. After we weeded it out, and laid out the beds and added the mulch. I can't wait to see the transformations we will make in 2023. And I'm so excited that we get to take you along the journey.